Did you have a good sleep? You ready for some breakfast? These chickens are ready for breakfast. Ooh. That is the morning sun. Oh my gosh. It's supposed to be getting really warm in the coming days, which is awesome. Okay, Bilk, you gotta come eat chicken, eat your food with the other chickens, okay? Come on, guys. Whoa, incoming. So since the whole pandemic thing started, I've been working from home and I was running a full desktop computer, but my department ordered a new laptop and because I live in a school bus and there's not a lot of space, uh, I asked if I could bring the laptop back. It's also helping with the power usage because our solar system and our batteries and everything could run the computer, but I needed a pure sign inverter to run the computer without destroying it. and. We didn't have one at the time, so we borrowed one from a friend. It was only a thousand watts, and so I couldn't, I had to turn, unplug the fridge. You know, running the water in the computer was maxing it out. So I'm super excited to have this laptop. It's gonna be such a space saver. And before I had two monitors here, so it was like blocking the whole window. And now I will have a laptop. I'll be able to just tuck it away at the end of the day, and it's just gonna make the space feel a lot nicer. But as you can see behind me, it's a total disaster because I just, 
got the new computer yesterday and I kind of had to pull everything apart and I am going to be setting that up, getting it all tidied up and starting my work day. One of the problems with working from home right now is the internet struggles. So I'm trying to download a file. The only thing that I can do right now is download the file. I can't go on any websites. I can't do anything else on here that uses the internet, which is what my job relies on. So, and you can see it's just bouncing up and down between eight minutes and one hour. And Ugh, it's brutal. But it's almost quitting time. I've only got 30 minutes left. And then I'm not sure what we're going to do tonight, but I'm thinking maybe some firewood. It's probably a good idea. To get up there. Double back. It's important. If you watched our earlier video about our solar panel setup, we mentioned that we previously tried to put it up in the treehouse and it wasn't going to work because as I'm sure you can hear right now, it's really windy. But anyways, we haven't been up in the treehouse for a while so we wanted to go up and check it out. It's a beautiful sunny day. We wanted to go up and have a beer in the treehouse. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, that's the ticket. Click that back, put that in, flip that over, click up. Okay, so your foot's gonna go where that knot is. Yeah. And you're just gonna stand on it. So stand on the knot. <laughs> Pull the extra blue rope from your ascender. <laughs> what the fuck? There you go. Oh, I thought I... <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? The sender's jammed? No, there you go. <laughs> I don't want to be on a chair right now. I need to be touching the tree, so I don't feel like I'm floating in space. <laughs> I get a bit of vertigo, so. The first time I came up here, I think I cried. And now I'm a little bit more used to it, but it's still unnerving. And there's also one section where the rope, like, 
weeds through some branches when it really could just go straight. And we need to fix that because it's really awkward. Greg doesn't even use the rope. You, we tie into the rope and then eventually you start climbing in the branches. And Greg doesn't even tie in. He just climbs a tree. He's a crazy guy. He's gonna end up leaving me out here by myself. <laughs> Not allowed. We have to get rid of that thing right away. So we've got this pine tree on our property that is dead. It's ravaged by pine beetles and we've noticed woodpeckers on it all throughout the winter and spring. Yeah. Ah, that's a big gust. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, this tree is all over the place. Don't do that. Oh! <laughs> Hello YouTube. So we built this tree house for a solar panel. But now it's uh its use is better used for uh just chilling in the sunshine. Yeah. Getting yep. a little bit scared. Oh. <laughs> Katie's a little bit scared and I'm not. <laughs> As He's... you can tell. <laughs> Show the ground, Katie. There's the bus. I'm happy as a pig and shit right now. I'm so comfortable. That sunshine is so nice. Underneath your hand. Underneath your hand. To keep it ah! If you got scared, that thing would catch you, so don't worry about it. If I, I want you to stand up and lean backwards. <laughs> Do you know how freaky this is when it's windy? Yeah. Pull it up a little bit, yeah. Pull that blue rope up a little bit. There you go. Just lean back, Katie. There you go. Come on, Katie. There you go. <laughs> oh, fuck. Fear and uncertainty. <laughs> we should come camp up here sometime. Hell no. This is the kind of weird part where you have to repel, like... <laughs> just feed that blue rope. You don't have to hold the thing, just feed the blue rope. This? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. You can't mess up. If you get scared, let go of everything, believe it or not. It's got an... <laughs> 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 There you go, Katie. Now you're in business. Alright, so it's pretty sun sun bleached. Still strong enough though, don't worry, hon. Lift it up. I am. And you got your weight on it? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna come down there and help you, okay? I'm gonna put it into passive mode. What's that mean? I'll show you in just a sec. I'm gonna I'm gonna come down there, okay?
Feels good to be back on the ground. It's a nice view up there, but it's a little sketchy. A little sketchy. Anyways, now we are going to have some dinner. Got some fresh arugula and celery. Mmm, yum. See ya.